In this video, I'm going to recreate famous people and imagined characters as custom minifigures. To do it, I will combine official LEGO parts and custom minifigs, and I'll also use paint, 3D printing, and more extreme techniques. Then I'll do a cursed version of each of them, and at the very end, I'll make them compete in various challenges to win the prize. But I don't own a lot of minifigures, so I will make them on my own using my painting and crafting skills. We'll recreate celebrities and famous characters in LEGO. I will also try to 3D print a minifig. We will modify and cursify all of these minifigs so that they are ready for the Cursed Olympics, where they will all compete for this. Ah, you can't see it since it's all pixelated. I'll tell you later why they need it so much. Let's recreate the characters first. Guess who's first on the Wheel of Misfortune? GTA 6 characters. There are a lot of fan interpretations of Jason and Lucia, but I will recreate them from this poster, starting with a <coughs> clean slate. First, we'll give Jason cargo pants, a tank top from Luke Skywalker, as well as Skywalker's head and a cap from your little brother's head. That kind of hurt me, though. Lucia will wear a pair of ripped jeans and a pink top from everyone else. And I found the most opposite character for her face, Rachel Green from Friends. But the angry expression fits quite nicely. It wouldn't be GTA without guns, so I got them a pair of blasters. And in case you didn't notice, Lucia has a sus object on her leg, an ankle monitor. So I slapped on a one by one plate to represent it. I also gave them an exotic speed champion's car so that they will be able to get away with all of their crimes. By the time GTA 6 comes out, Jason and Lucia will probably be so old already. So that's how I'm gonna make them cursed. I'm gonna borrow your grandpa's head and put it on Jason. And I'll use this head that looks like an old lady's face for Lucia. Of course, we can't trust old people with guns anymore or they might accidentally shoot the mailman. Now they can only rob old people. Okay, their cursed looks are finished. Next up on our Wheel of Misfortune are Digital Circus characters, Kane and Omni out of LEGO. I really want to show you the cursed version where I combine Omni and Kane into one minifig, but let's recreate their normal versions first. Kane's biggest feature is his head slash mouth slash eyes, and I will do a brick build version of it, and it goes on the body of some sort of presenter. Huh? So I have just the perfect one right here. Finish it off with black pants and a stick, and Kane's ready to meet. Pomni! So I'm gonna try to build Pomni from scratch using this white minifig. And this is pretty much how it would look. So I went and bought some clay. Then cut the blue and red clay into strips and turned them into a jester's hat. I'm actually pretty proud of that. But let's customize it using my art skills and paint the rest of the details, like the face, clothes, and shoes. And there we go. I think I perfectly captured her paranoid face. Pomni and Kane look cursed already, but I want to make them look even weirder. So I found this oblong shaped head and put on a depressed clown face. It's like nobody's laughed at her jokes in years. Let's make it even weirder. I'm gonna use this piece so now both Kane and Pomni are together in one body. <laughs> They've literally got two brains in one. So will they be able to use this to their advantage in the cursed Olympics? Another character I really enjoy is a meme one, Pepe the Frog. As one wise man stated, the meaning of Pepe is the fact that it can mean anything. So it can also mean Lego Pepe. Well, no, not like this. So finding legs and a torso for Pepe is easy, since normally it's just green legs and a blue t-shirt. But what about the head? After a couple of fails with green heads, I realized I needed to do some research. Although his head is perfect for camouflaging in the swamp. So apparently they are selling this Pepe minifig on Etsy and it looks pretty... 3D printed. So I did just the same. Downloaded a free model and started to print. Since this is a modified model, there's a hole under the head so it can fit right onto the Lego body. Oh yeah, that is so Pepe, but he looks kind of pale. To make it more alive, I also painted the eyes and the lips. Obviously, my Lego version is happier. So to cursify him... Some. Since Pepe lives in a swamp, I took some of Shrek's earwax for him. Whoa, it literally filled up the whole bowl. And I straight up dipped him in it. So now Pepe can finally live in his natural environment. And after taking him out in some tedious cleaning, I found that Pepe transformed into this little guy. Now to add a head of an appropriate size, and boom! Cursed Pepe the Frog is done! Another one on our Wheel of Misfortune is Minecraft. So in the beginning, there was Steve. Then Alex came along. Hello there. Now we have Noor, Sunny, Ari, Zuri, Makina, Kai, and Efe. But Lego still hasn't released their plastic versions, so I will recreate Makina. I mean, she looks stunning. To do it, we just need to combine the archaeologist huh? and the yellow everything minifigs, sugar, spice, and everything nice. So we will start with the basic purple pants. And after adding a torso, hands, and a head, I can finally say that I'm completely unsatisfied. So I printed some skin details for her, and now we're talking. Bonus points for that flare. So we can finally start to mine those blocks. Uh-oh. But you know what scares me the most in Minecraft? Foxes! 
I mean... Skeletons! <laughs> so after he killed Steve, he went straight for Makita. He started mining her, and this is where I helped him. I used this drill tool with a tip that spins super fast. Oh well, there's no way Makina will survive when we can literally see her insides. There has to be some sort of treasure. Wow, her insides are literally filled with gemstones. So the skeleton just continued mining her. But you know what? In the true fashion of a cursed minifig, Makina is still alive. The next character I'll create is... So there's Lego and there's also Lego Fortnite. But what about Lego Fortnite in Lego? There are tons of characters in Lego Fortnite, but the ones I will be recreating are these four recruitable villagers, Carl Reef, Silas, Slush, and Yeti. And the reason I chose them is because Lego already has almost the same minifigures. Now you can brag to your friends that you have Lego <laughs> Fortnite minifigs. Especially when it comes with a set of hair and accessories. Yeah, he gets angry when he's bald. Uh... Now they're ready to gather some resources. Since making four separate cursed versions is way too much work, and I'm in the mood for some destruction, I'll first combine the four of them into two big cursed minifigs. That's like Mighty Morphin gone wrong. But I actually want to end up with just one, so I'll use a heat gun to melt them together. It's literally melting so fast. Wow, they're hot and almost drippy. They're also stuck together, so you can't peel them apart no matter how hard you try. And that's it for their cursed versions. So let's move on to the next one. So the next person we're recreating is Rihanna, which I'm pretty excited about because who didn't love her iconic Super Bowl performance? So of course, that's the look we're recreating. So recreate Rihanna. We need to combine this mountain bike cyclist minifigure and Zendaya. Zendaya. Yeah, let's just rip her apart because we're only going to need the hands and headpiece. For the hair, I'll use this, which pretty much looks like a braid. To finish this look, I'll steal a bike, and voila! But we're still missing something, her pregnant belly. And since Lego doesn't have any pregnant minifigs, I'll just craft it from a child's legs, headlight pieces, and a rounded plate. Yeah, that kind of looks preggy. And you know what comes as a bonus with a belly? Booty. And there you go, I built a pregnant Rihanna. Yes, sir. And here's ASAP Rocky to go with Rihanna. So before I made a strange version of Rihanna, I built a hospital. Her belly's gotten so big, which means it's time to give birth. Here comes the moment of truth. Oh, wow. This baby looks just like ASAP Rocky. Congratulations on your healthy baby boy. But wait, there's more. Apparently, Rihanna gave birth to quadruplets. That's why for her cursed version, I'm going to make her spider legs to carry all her babies. I also want to cursify her torso by giving her two extra claws at the back. Because let's be real, mothers need this many arms. There we go. She can carry all her babies while, yes, she does the cooking and yes she does the cleaning that's your new girlfriend ah! the next character we'll create is kanye west this dude is absolutely crazy in both good and bad ways since he always wears black recreating him won't be a problem i'll just need to find a black minifigure black panther will do but we have a problem these printed lines don't hit his style so to remove the print i'll use a nail polisher and after a couple of minutes of tedious crafting i ended up with this a completely black minifigure next i will give him a headpiece from goliath and some accessories like this lego piece that would make cool shoulder pads this could pass as a new Yeezy design. But to really finish his unique look, I want to build his iconic car. With these huge squishy wheels, it actually might float on water like the real one. So let's test it. Okay, wow, it's really floating, so that's a W. And now we can finally recreate this commercial. Hey, can I get a... Let's move on to the cursifying. For Yi to look cursed, we need to make him more accurate. With a confirmed bipolar diagnosis, I have the right headpiece for him that basically gives him two heads. And he also recently got permanent titanium dentures, so I will recreate them using this piece of foil. Admit it, you guys used to do this to yourself using candy wrappers. Because I did too. Now Kanye and his two moods are ready to ride his ATV and join the cursed Olympics. Now can you guess who we'll be recreating next? I will use this generic head with a purple hat, plus a pair of brown pants, and boom, we have finished the Uzi Vert. Almost. To finish off his look, I quickly grabbed the diamond from my mom's earring and slapped it on the forehead. And after speed building the we have this. So Lil Uzi is supposed to turn into this big bad werewolf with a giant diamond on his forehead. So we just need a wolf, but I don't have a lot of animals. And I just lost a squirrel. But actually, I have a dinosaur. What I need are his dino legs. Then I'm gonna create a new body for Uzi. And the cursed little Uzi is finished. Give me a spin. Nice. You guys ever seen a cartwheel like this? Okay, now we can recreate that one scene from the music video. Dang, that's so badass. 
Now that we've crucified all the characters, it's time for the biggest ever competition in LEGO, the Cursed Olympics, where they will face extreme challenges and fight each other to win the cursed LEGO piece that will undo the curse. But to make it even more intense, for this final challenge, I will be making my own sound effects. So these are all our cursed contestants, ready to attend the Cursed Olympics and compete for the one and only cursed LEGO piece in the entire LEGO universe. So let's set it up with an audience. The rules are simple. First, we will have an elimination round with the cursed Gordon Ramsay, who has a delicious whip. <laughs> Huge hands to carry a big croissant in a pan. And most importantly, eyes on the back so he can see everything. Then Cursed Mr. Beast, who has a dinosaur body and Ching Ching on his back, will do a simple run to Glizzy challenge. And the one who touches it first wins. Yeah, so let's start the roasting. You've got two heads, but zero brains. These Fortnites are burned! You are just not built for it. Where are your hands? Get the frog out of my kitchen! And after receiving his check for shouting at people, he laughed. Start the Glizzy challenge. And immediately we see that everyone struggles. The grannies are too old. Makina is a zombie, so she only wants brains. Rihanna started fast, but got tangled in her own legs. But the grannies are using a super jump cheat code and end up on the torch. But now they are closest to the finish. Comni uses a glitch to teleport themselves close to the finish line. And they are touching Glizzy at the exact same moment. And while they were arguing who the winner was, a rocket landed on the course. And on top of it, Elon Musk. The one who rebuilds the SpaceX rocket wins. And since Mr. and Mrs. struggle even with the TV remote control in her home, Comney wins this one with ease. And just like that, Comney got the prize, and boom, they are back to normal bodies. But Kane kinda liked this brick, so he just flew away, leaving Pomni with nothing as usual. And while I'm sending my creations to celebrities, I wanna thank you all for watching this video till the end. Please go check out my other videos. Take care, bye-bye.